back to City Skylines. And this is episode five. All right, cool. Well, our uh, recently rapidly rising growth rate in Springwood here has brought us to the point where it is now a big town, 5,500 population. Next up is the small city, which I don't think will take very long to get to that. And that's opening up some more possibilities and so on. Now, I was just looking things over. And like, for example, here, landfill, 78% full. Another landfill, 75% full. Not exactly wonderful, super great. And then, of course, the purple haze. The purple haze of pollution, which is infecting this residential area, but I knew that would happen. But I was also aware that at 5500, office zones become available. Office zones don't care about pollution nearly so much, uh, specifically because there's people not actually living there. Uh, they're not going to get sick so bad. So, we're going to Dezone that and that, and we're going to rezone it as office space, which I'm sure is part of what the uh, industrial demand is for. Okay, well, that's taken care of. I was also looking at power situation, and we're going to need another wind turbine soon, so I figure go ahead and plant this sucker now. Try to keep the noise out of the city. There. That'll take care of that. And another thing to do has to do with this trash thing. Well, we've got 70-some percent of our, tra our landfills in use. And so I want to put down the, uh, the newfangled incineration plant to start burning garbage. And eventually, I believe it takes about at least three of them to get to the point where your incineration status is in the green, which means you're burning more garbage than you generate. I'm going to only be able to start with one just off the bat. But before I put one down, this road needs to be upgraded. So I'm going to go over here and grab the six lane and switch over here to the upgrade mode. And bada bing. I think maybe just that much will be enough to start with. So let's get the incinerator down right there. Now oh, here. Because eventually this road's going to go further north. So let's not put that in the way. Okay. Get things moving. Okay, so we're now burning some of the garbage, but we've got a ways to go before we're burning more than we make. Plus, this thing generates, well, once it's running and fully stocked, it will be generating 12 megawatts power. So that's good. And we've got some uh, upgrading going on here, too. All right. Office Park is developing quickly. I knew that was going to be a thing. All right. Um, this something else. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Okay, over here in the commercial district. Uh, let's see. I want to get some more of this zone because there is demand for it. I think I want to pop something else down in here. Let's see. The Statue of Wealth. Yeah. Pop that down here in here where it's going to have an effect on the commercial district. That will also be bringing some tourists in. That's good. Okay, great. And, hmm, 
I don't have enough for this other thing I wanted to do, but that'll happen. What I want to get into is get the subways going, because that's going to be really powerful as a form of mass transit, which will get more people off the freaking roads. Uh, let's see. All right, let's pop down some more commercial, and let's go with some dense commercial, high-density commercial. Why will you not zone? Huh. That's weird. Okay. And yeah, look at this. It's just slamming. That's great. Uh, there's something else I want to get going that will help get fewer people on the roads, and that is, I want to get going more with this, uh, right here, the pavement paths. Now, not only do I want to, like, for example, put them there, so that, well, let's see, yeah, that way people from these streets can walk over there and get to business. same thing here. Actually, that's probably plenty. And that will help. But I also want to do this. Take this here. And I'm going to raise it up. And just run it down the length. And yes, I'm going to step on some businesses, but that's okay. They'll rebuild. Take it across the road. And a little bit further here. And now... Start here page up. Okay, this needs to extend a little farther in order for that to work. Alright, I'm not going to worry about that side just yet. And just a second. Uh, options, audio, ambient. Let's turn that down even more. All right. Like that. See, now they can come along the sidewalk and get up onto this. And that lets them walk down through here and all right let's here up and over here down that's going to be very useful form of mass transit And this little gem is known as a skyway, and that one is wrong. Because the idea here is to avoid To avoid stepping on too much zonable space, you want this to only be one tile wide, like that. Oops. Okay. 
Yeah, like so. All right, great. And let's drop another one. All right, we'll start draw it from here. Ah, I'll get this right. Down. All right, that's not the greatest location for it, so we'll just pop it over. Oh, no, we don't want to go underground with it. Yeah, like so. Uh, no, not like so. We'll just... here. Slope too steep. Uh, okay, that's alright. Because uh, I want to have another one over here. run it up there. Oh, can't get into that. All right. No. I don't want it on ground level the whole way. It starts and then take it up. Yeah. Now I'll go up to here. Come out to the edge and go down. Oh, you're going to be that way, aren't you? Well, at least you'll cooperate. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that that's cool. Because we still have to do this. Run it across the road and hook it to this one. There. And. Okay, let's see. Here. Connect to this one. And this one can come over here and go down. And we'll just have some ground paths coming out that way. So that gets more access there. And let's have another one going across the sky, like so. And... Alright, how about this? Bring this out to here, bring it down there, and while airborne, bring it down here, and down right there, and over here, and up. And then straight down the middle. And down here. Yeah. Nice little form of mass transit that encourages people to use their feet. OK, 
okay. That's all right. Now we come up here. With this one. This one here can connect to it. Slope too steep? Are you kidding me? Here, up, that'll work. Uh, that won't work. There. Slope too steep. Well, bugger you. Alright. Like that. And, uh... Alright, here I'll just... Start there. Come up. Whoops, not that way. This way. All the way down here. And just have this already in place. Bring it across here. And... Down to there. that and let's see There, and then over here, and down here like that, and so on. All right. Commercial demand is actually pretty well filled for right now. Let's get this thing going again. All right. That is great. And we've got some cash coming in. Let's see. Do I have any loans out? No, good, good, good. Now, as uh, the citizenry over here rebuilds, let's see. Yeah, good. Lots of skyway access here. I really don't want to step on huge tracks of 
stuff. There. Let them walk. And I need to get more of the Skyway in place. It'll get more people walking. As you'll see, look here. These boogers are using it. They're taking the Skyway from Weston Hills over in here to the shopping area. And look at this. They are using this thing big time. And everybody on that walkway is somebody that isn't on the road driving a car adding to traffic. Okay. Uh, the budget, however, is a concern. Let's see, how's that doing? 83% full. Start emptying. This can start emptying. Trash burning plant is outputting 6 megawatts. And it's about to have a full garbage reserve. Because both landfills are going to be emptying into it. I'm going to have to figure out. <laughs> I, I think maybe I need to uh, make my uh, blocks just one block wider. And that will make it easier to put the Skyway in. Because there will be an unzoned area down there in the middle. So I'll do that. Basically something like... Uh, okay. I don't want to upgrade. All right, here we are. I come out here. And if I make the road up here like this, then the Skyway will go down here, down the middle, in that one spot, and there'll be four spaces on either side. For that. Yeah, that will work out a lot better. And since I've gone ahead and done that one, I can go ahead and let's go ahead and bring it across. Hook it up with that, and so on. And we have some residential demand, so let's get some people low density moving in here. How's our water? Let's run some more of that out there. How's the power? It's walking its way around. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we got plenty of power. 150 megawatts. Excellent. Alright, that's being emptied. How is our overall trash coverage? Good. Landfill usage is 79%. Need to get to where I can put in more, uh, more of these incinerators, though so that I can get ahead of the garbage problem. I think I've caught it before it's a problem now, but I want it to not be a problem. At this point, the problem is kind of on the minor side.
And actually, if, uh, if I nuke that and that, bring that clear over to there. these people in. Get Weston Hills growing some more. And our money's in the in the green again. Population is rising up. And see what was that goal? Seventy five hundred. Alright, we just let this thing cook a little bit. What do we got here? Not enough workers. They need educated workers. Ah, uh, okay, so that's going to go south a bit. For a little while, until I get to where I can afford to put in another school. The next school, I'll be putting the high school at 30 grand over here in Weston Hills. Or I could put an elementary school over here. Because I noticed the, uh, let's see. Uneducated, well, you know what that one is. Educated is people that's been to elementary school. Well-educated have been to high school. Highly educated have been to university. Or college. Whatever. So... These guys, they're wanting educated workers, which is why it's uh, abandoned now. Not good, not wonderful. I'm sure the neighbors hate it, but it'll get fixed. What do we got here? Garbage is piling up. Uh-oh. You, stop emptying. 77% full. Stop emptying. All right. I'm going to need a third landfill. Until I can afford more of these trash burners, I'm going to need a third landfill. And that's going to have to happen now. So we'll just drop that up here. I need more money. Not my idea of a great time. I don't like having a lot of landfills, but uh, necessary evil. Until I get to where I've got about four or five trash burners. Okay. Garbage trucks are back on pickup duty, so this garbage thing will be taken care of. What is your problem? Not enough educated workers. Uh, yeah, what kind of educated workers do you want? You're not saying, really. I mean, you're saying what kind of... Uh, no jobs available. It's abandoned. All right, let's check these guys. They want well-educated. So they're going to want... They're wanting elementary school and high school students to come and take their jobs. So, yeah, I have got to get high school and that is 30 grand yeah uh, I don't want to take another loan I don't care if I can pay it back really quickly I don't want to take another one of these loans if I can possibly avoid it so I think instead the thing is just going to be to let this ride until this city budget gets up to uh, 30 grand, actually a little over 30 grand, and then pop down a high school in Weston Hills. But, <laughs> as you can tell from my alarm, that's going to be in the next episode. 
will we uh, get the education going in time to save the commercial and office district? Find out next episode. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.